Good morning YouTube. I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, we're going to be hearing, and many of you probably have, that Earth is warmer today, uh, much more during uh, 70 to 80 percent of the last 11,300 years. Uh, so that being said, we've had many explosions we've all been following them and, and speculate as to why and how they're being caused there's a new link on RSOE about an explosion in Illinois and that explosion was at a paint factory and um, they don't know what caused that explosion it blew people through midair when they came to burning workers they were charred in black around the face Right now, and I, I for copyright purposes, I won't show it. But I'm gonna. There's two guys out in a field with little holes dug all over. Listen to their explanation. Field technician Michael Bernstein left, and project foreman Steve Clack are of SET Environmental Inc. They sift through leaves and vegetation. They're digging holes in the ground, and they said they're checking for paint flecks and other possible contaminants in a retention pond a few doors down from Fox Valley Systems in Cary because uh, there was quite an explosion there as I said and that's on RSOE today um, at a, um, just south of Chicago land in Illinois a paint explosion and then up in um, Edmonton up in Edmonton Canada uh, there were two separate house explosions in, in recent weeks and it's got contractors on edge as the heading of the story goes and I'll post all these links there's videos for them this is from the 25th of February I've just been sitting on this uh, until I wanted it uh, Edmonton occupational health and safety and fire investigators are sifting through the rubble of two separate house explosions that happened just over 48 hours apart. Both happened at homes that were under construction. Um, both originated in the basement of the homes. Uh, the, the contractors don't understand. He says this was a brand new home. Uh, natural gas is the one that comes to everybody's mind first and foremost is, is what he says. But there's a whole gamut of things it could be and I'll post the link to all this of course um, the one quoted is saying these are all brand new homes John Isambres points out there's no way they should be leaking they're brand new so what we have is the warmest weather in a possibly a warmest planet in 11,000 years and we got uh, methane hydrates being uh, liquefied and released all over the planet. Um, I will post a link to this methane hydrates and some info about that, where they detect it, where they want to mine it, where they are mining it. Um, the methane hydrates is the problem to all of this. And you know, in this link, gas hydrates and entrance to a methane age or a climate threat. <laughs> well, it's a climate threat, and our global warming by our farts and our cow shit is not what's causing this, okay? As we well know. Sorry to be rude with that, but it, it just gets frustrating. They're keeping myself and others busy with all this other chaos when the real killer that everybody should be worried about is uh, tectonic plate movement, uh, the... Asian plate, Indonesian plate is breaking up in the center of it. So we got the action in the Pacific Rim. We got uh, gas explosions all over this country with crust displacement, um, leaking gas mains, leaking pipes along the New Madrid. Possibly, and I will hypothesize this, um, releasing of methane gas hydrates up through the soil and they take the path of least resistance therefore in there there's it shows this workers on the scene 
Um, this one, they're out digging in a field trying to find paint flecks and other possible contaminants at this explosion in Illinois. And then there's a couple other slides. Um, an employee from the Environmental Monitoring and Technology Thursday tests water samples near Fox Valley Systems a day after the explosions at the Cary plant. So that tells me right there it was not an internal uh, propane tank or something in the, in, the, in the paint plant. They're looking in the soil. They're testing the soil. I'll put the links. It is a warming planet with uh, methane hydrates being released along fault lines and other places, paths of least resistance. And, and that's what they know. That's why Bobby Jindal won't answer any questions when directed to him about that damn sinkhole down there and them hundreds of caverns that will go when all of this comes apart. So while they keep us busy with laws and droning and who's going to get killed and who's being listened to, um, I don't care too much about that because I do follow these other things that suggest this whole country is going to blow up from coast to coast and up into Canada as well. Uh, it's just a mathematical certainty. The only thing I don't know is when. God bless you all. Take care and stay safe and stay smart.